Cool. So the next thing on your uh, your list here, we talked a little bit about 3PLs already, um, but just choosing the location of your 3PL wisely, uh, depending on what your business is, like this is going to look very different. If you are like an Amazon exclusive seller, or, you know, 95% of your business is Amazon, uh, you know, it's going to look very different than if you are running 95% of your business through Shopify and you're shipping your, your products directly to customers. Uh, where you have your 3PL is, mm -hmm. is going to be really strategic. I mean, for instance, if you are shipping your own your own goods, looking at a place like Kentucky or Indiana, Tennessee, et cetera, those are kind of regarded as the best places to to ship from because you can get to the most number of human beings uh, in the United mm -hmm. States on two-day shipping uh, from those states and any other state, which is you know why FedEx has their their hub in Tennessee. Um, mm -hmm. But if you're you know mostly Amazon, there's a lot more to consider. Um, so just some additional thoughts from your perspective of where the best 3PL locations are geographically. Um, so yeah, I mean, exactly, right. For, if, if, you're, if you're talking about, uh, you know, um, Amazon FBA sellers, then yeah, you wanna kind of stay closer to the ports as, as mentioned, right? And uh, that kind of minimizes your, your transit times. Um, and that yeah you can't, you don't you don't have to buy as much stock and uh, uh, and just overall um, you know trend times is important <laughs> but yeah with with the with the Shopify I would say another thing to point out except for uh, if you have two ch or or you know a few sales channels like Amazon and Shopify for instance all right you can you you can have you know a warehouse to fulfill to Am or like send send the shipments to Amazon FBA. Right, but then also use uh, providers like Deliver on a, on a, like a limited scale because that's mm -hmm. kind of what they're best at is is fulfilling uh, to the customers across the states, right? Um, and if you're you know doing the fulfillment on your own, you know Deliver has worked really great for for many of our uh, of our customers that are that are doing their own fulfillment. So excellent. Yeah. Um, um, and then yeah, also you gotta yeah, that's kind of like a good subject on its own. Like if you are having like multiple uh, sales channels, so you can think of also like say wholesale, right? So maybe you're um, selling to yeah different wholesale customers. That kind of adds up to 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 the factors to consider, right? Um, so but that kind of brings bring brings to the point of looking for a provider that. Uh, just, just it's a good fit, right? So if you're if you're having this you know, multiple channels, again, like a provider with multiple locations is great, right? Versus having to look for multiple providers for like each location that you're looking for and navigate through multiple contractors. Uh, it's definitely best to use a warehouse with multiple locations. Yeah, and I think the thing that we've kind of found out with warehouses with a single location. You open yourself up to any type of natural disaster issue as well, or ge or, or geographical mm -hmm. uh, government, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, through COVID, you know, California had uh, just definitely not getting into politics. People be care, you know, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, <laughs> sure. California certainly had you know more strict COVID restrictions and guidelines, which was mm -hmm. causing uh, us to have problems getting our inventory out of those warehouses versus other states. Uh, where maybe the restrictions weren't quite as bad. Uh, maybe you think about something like a hurricane coming through. Uh, if your 3PL was in, in Texas, uh, certainly uh, that could be a thing. Or going back to California, maybe there's an earthquake or something that happens. Uh, you know, it's kind of inevitable at some point that's going to happen. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, depending on how, how big it is, you're going to have an issue. So if you have your inventory spread you know, around the country, uh, it can help with with all these issues, especially if it's significantly far apart. You know, California and Texas, or California and and Tennessee, or Tennessee and Texas, or whatever you know, whatever combination mm -hmm. of, of things you have, where they're a thousand miles apart or more, you kind of get away from from those types of issues as well, which uh, you, know, you don't think about until until they happen. Like your, your system works like ninety ninety five percent of the time. It's the <laughs> the mm -hmm. the five percent of the time that you gotta to worry about that you're almost mm -hmm. out of business when when it does happen. Mm -hmm.